Hi and welcome to OpenCine. OpenCine is a free and open raw image processing tool made with sequences in mind. It's an open source software under active development by Apertus. You can know more about OpenCine by visiting www.apertus.org slash en slash OpenCine. To build OpenCine, there are four steps that we need to follow. Step 1. Getting the source code. Visit www.apertus.org slash en slash opencine. Scroll down the page to visit the GitHub repo where the opencine source code is hosted. Click on the clone or download button and then copy the git link given there. Then open the terminal and change your directory to where you would like to store the opencine source code. In our case, it would be slash home slash supragya slash projects. Allow the command git clone and then control shift v or paste to run. This would download the latest OpenCine source to your PC. Step 2. Installing Linux dependencies If you are on Ubuntu, Arch or on one of the derived distributions like Ubuntu Mate or Manjaro, this step should be easy for you. CD to your OpenCine directory and run sudo bash envsetup.sh. This would download all the required dependencies to your local machine. If however you are on other distributions that do not support apt-get, or pacman, you could do a simple search online to find the corresponding packages for the ones given in envsetup.sh. Simply open the envsetup.sh file in a text editor and you could find a list of packages that we are using quite clearly. Step 3. Installing Qt 5.8 Download the Qt installer from the Qt website. This can be done simply by visiting the downloads page on qt.io and then selecting the 64-bit installer. This should be a .run file. Once downloaded, make sure the installer could be executed. This can be done by going into the terminal in the same directory as the run file and then executing chmod plus x and then the name of the run file. After this, fire up the installer using dot slash run file. Continue the installation until the installation path is asked for. Enter the following path slash home slash user slash qt where user is your username. Click next, select the 64-bit libraries, deactivate other options and continue with the installation. Step 4. The final step is to build the program itself. There are two ways to do so. Build from the command line or to build from the Qt creator. First, let's see how to build OpenCine from command line. CD to your source folder. In our case, it is slash home slash supragya slash projects slash OpenCine. Then we create a directory named build using mkdir build. Then we enter the directory using cd build. We then begin cmake configuration by supplying qt along with the cmake command as follows. We then run the build using make j4. Let the build process take its time. If it succeeds, executables could be found in the bin directory inside build. The second option is to build using qt creator. Begin by launching qt creator. Then go to file, then open file or projects. We now load CMake lists from the OpenCine directory. Qt Creator now asks for configuration if it has ran for the first time. For basic usage, set debug and release. Also, adjust the build path to where you would like it to be. In our case, it is slash home slash supragya slash project slash OpenCine slash build. We select configuration to build in bottom left area and then press the hammer icon to build the system. Upon successful build, pressing F5 or Ctrl R should start the application. Thank you for building OpenCine. If you require written instructions for the process, head over to the following link. In case there are any problems, you could ask the assistance on our mailing list or IRC.